Hi boys and girls, how are you doing? I hope everyone is feeling good. I'm Sir Sazril. Today, we are going to learn parts of a house like windows, doors, walls, floors, kitchen, living room. We will also learn about items we can find in a house like cushion, sofa, armchair, bookcase, fridge, a clock, a mirror, a radio, and painting. And the prepositions of place in front of and behind. I just moved to a new house. Let me show you what it looks like. Hi! Hmm. Is this your new house? Oh, hello Yolo! Everyone, this is our friend Yolo. Are you joining us for today? Yes, I would love to visit your new house. Oh, great! Come on then. Here it is. This is my new house. Isn't it lovely? I can't wait to start living here. Why don't I give you a tour of my new house? And you can learn today's word by following me around my new house. My house has lots of windows. They look nice, right? Yes. They are really nice windows and big enough for me to go through. No, Yolo. You don't enter a house through a window. Now, look at this red thing. What is this pretty thing in front of my house? Yes. It's a door. My house has two doors. A front door and a back door. I love my red doors. Can I use the door to get into your house? Yes. Come. Let's go inside my house. I will show you around. This it's my living room. I still haven't painted the walls. Do you think I should paint it pink or purple? I love... Mm, I love yellow. Yellow? It's just too bright for me. I think I should paint my walls purple. I have a sofa in front of the wall. And, uh, mm, mm, where is the cushion? Yolo, can you find my cushion? Here it is. Oh, it's behind the sofa. Oh, it's so cool. I'm also thinking about putting some carpets on the floor. My tile floor is cool without any carpets. Hmm. Where is the carpet? Is it... Is it... This one? Good job, Yolo. It's in front of the armchair. My house has two stories. 
upstairs and downstairs. Wow! There are a lot more rooms. Let's check what rooms we have downstairs. There is this living room downstairs and here we have the kitchen and dining room which is also downstairs. My kitchen has a lot of appliances like a fridge and I also have a clock. Um, Yolo, where are you? Yolo? Here I am. I'm playing with this, um, with this strange creature. Oh, you mean my cats. Where are the cats? They are in front of the table. They are cute, aren't they? Um, why don't we move upstairs and see what rooms are upstairs? Upstairs on the left is my study. I have a bookcase, a table, and a chair. Why are your books on the floor? Uh, where are the books? Here they are. Oh, they are in front of the bookcase. I still haven't arranged my books. And on the right is my bedroom. Come and take a look. Here I have my bed. It's in front of the window. I also want to hang a painting in the bedroom. But I can't find it. Yolo, where is the painting? Don't worry. I will help you to look. Here it is. I see. It's behind the bed. Ah. Let's put it on the wall next to the mirror. Hmm. I have a very good radio. Do you like music, Yolo? Of course. I love music. Hmm. I listen to the radio before going to sleep. Where is the radio? It's in front of the mirror. Well, you're seeing my whole house. What do you think, everyone? What about you, Yolo? I like your new house. It is, um, it is much better than your old house. Hmm. I have a garden behind the house. Let's go to the garden. Yolo's fun fact. You can build houses from a variety of materials. Some people use mud and clay to build their houses. Wood and timber are also good material to build houses. People also use stones and bricks to make houses. Nowadays, houses can even be built like Legos. They make parts of the house at a factory and assemble it on site. Houses around the world is made from different materials. What about this house. Do you know what is it? Who do you think built the house?
Yes, it's an igloo. It is made from ice blocks. The Inuits are the ones who built it. How's my garden? It's big, right? It's really big. I can even fly around here. Okay, let's review some things I said while showing you around my house. I used where is and where are to ask questions when I can't find something. Like when you're trying to find the cushion and the cats? Yes. Very good. And I used behind and in front of to show the location of the items. Let's try, shall we? In the living room, I ask, where is the cushion? Do you remember how to answer? Yes, it is behind the sofa. Well done! Next, I ask, where is the carpet? It is in front of the armchair. Well done! Then, we went into the kitchen. Do you like the cats? Of course! I love playing with the cats. Can I come here again to play with them? You can, Yolo. So, where are the cats? They are in front of the table. You still remember. I love reading. Do you remember? Where are the books? Hmm, let me see. In front of the bookcase? You're right! They are in front of the bookcase. My bedroom is very cozy. I like sleeping in it. Oh, I felt really sleepy when I entered your bedroom. Wake up, Yolo. Don't fall asleep yet. I'm awake. I'm awake. In the bedroom, I also asked some questions. Where is the bed? It is in front of the window. Next, I ask about my painting. Where is the painting? I think it's behind the bed. Very good. Can you hear the music? It must be coming from my radio. Where is my radio? It's in front of the mirror. Very good, Yolo. We can also use upstairs and downstairs to show the location of something. My new house has two stories. Where are the study and the bedroom? 
They are upstairs. Correct. Where is the living room? It's downstairs. Well done. Hmm. Yolo fun fact. There are different houses in different countries. The houses are built according to their environment. Houses in countries with heavy rains are built on silt so that the floor won't get wet or water getting into the house if flooded. Houses in colder climates have thicker walls so that it can be hot longer. Let's see if you can identify where the house come from. This is the first house. Now, from which country does it come from? A. America B. Malaysia C. Iceland Yes! This is a log cabin from America. And what about this house? Where can you find this house? A. Antarctica B. England C. Central Asia Yes, it is a yurt from Central Asia. The nomads use it as a house. Uh, if I remember correctly, you love to play games, Yolo. Since we are in the garden, let's play I Spy. I've placed many items in the garden. Yes, yes, yes. I love to play games. They are so much fun. Are you ready? I spy with my eye something red and round. Is it a ball? Yes! Where is the ball? I found it. It's, um... Wait, wait. Wait, Yolo. Why don't we let our friends try to find it first? Oh, yes. It's more fun with more people. Where is the ball, friends? Yes, that's right. It's that red ball. It's in front of the bush. Yay! You found it. You found it. Let me go next. Okay. I spy with my eye something blue and shaped like a diamond. Where is it, Yolo? It. It's um it's a blue kite. It's behind the three. You really have good eyes, Yolo. Let's see if you can find the next one. I spy with my eye. Something purple and made of two circles. Where is it, everyone? Can you find it?
Come on, everyone. Let's find it together. Is it this bicycle? Right, you are. Is the bicycle is in front of the lawn chair. The next one is going to be even more difficult to find. I spy with my eye something yellow and furry. Woohoo! This is fun! I'll find it first. Um, why can't I find it? This is so hard. Can you see it anywhere, friends? Here. Look over here, Yolo. Oh, it's me. I'm in front of the mirror. <laughs> Did you have fun? I have something else that is fun for you to do. Here, I have a room. Let's arrange some things in here. I already put the bed in the room. I still have some other things to put in the room. First, let's put the carpet down on the floor. Where is the carpet? It is in front of the bed. Hmm. The cupboard should be here. It looks nice next to the bed, behind the door. Where should we put this photograph? I think they will look nice behind the bed. They are behind the bed. Well, Yolo, do you like visiting my house? Yes, it's very nice. I also learned some new words and sentences. What did you learn, Yolo? I learned words about parts of the house, like windows, doors, walls, floors. Kitchen, living room. Good. We also learn about items we can find in a house, like cushion, sofa, armchair, bookcase, a fridge, clock, mirror, radio, painting. Yes, yes, yes. I also learned how to use where is it and where are they to find something. You can now use the prepositions behind and in front of to show locations of items. Well then, that's it for today. I hope to see you again for another session of English. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye, hello. Bye-bye. Goodbye, everyone.